I want to concentrate on the second part of this example because it's the more difficult of the two sections. We're given the delta H and delta S of a chemical reaction, and we're asked, are there any temperatures for which the reaction is spontaneous? Well, the spontaneity of a reaction depends on delta G. We know delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S, and for a reaction to be spontaneous, that must be less than zero. What we're really looking for then are the temperatures for which delta H minus T delta S is less than zero. Well, we have delta H and delta S, so we can just plug them into the equation. Negative 114.2 kilojoules per mole minus T times negative 0.147 kilojoules per mole K must be less than zero. Now look, there's only one variable in this equation, T, so we ought to be able to solve for it. Don't let the fact that it's an inequality bother you. We can solve for inequalities the same way we solve for normal algebraic equations. There's only one rule we have to remember. If we ever multiply or divide by a negative number, we have to switch the direction of the inequality sign. Other than that, we use all the same algebraic rules we've always used before. What we need to do then is isolate T. Well, I can get rid of negative 114.2 kilojoules per mole by adding 114.2 kilojoules per mole to each side of the equation. That will make it disappear on the left-hand side of the equation and appear on the right-hand side of the equation. Now look what I have. I have negative T times negative 0.147. Those two negatives cancel. So in the end, I just have T times 0.147 kilojoules per mole K. To isolate T, all I have to do is divide by 0.147 kilojoules per mole K. That way, it disappears on the left-hand side of the equation, and it reappears in the denominator of the right-hand side of the equation. Now look what I have. I have a big nasty fraction on the right-hand side of the equation. But look what goes on in that fraction. Kilojoules are divided by kilojoules, so they cancel. Moles are divided by moles, so they cancel as well. What about that Kelvin unit? Well, it's in the denominator of a fraction that's in the denominator of the entire fraction. So it ends up going to the numerator of the entire fraction, giving us a unit of K. That's good because we're looking for temperature. When I divide the numbers, I get 777K. So this reaction is spontaneous for all temperatures less than 777K.